In this video, we're going to look at an extension of the Million Dollar Project from Ruth Lee's class. Thank you, Mrs. Lee, uh, for sharing this. And in this activity, students have a million dollars, and they need to figure out how to spend as close to a million dollars within a week and build a plan and present it. So the extension for this would be to use a spreadsheet. And just looking at the, uh, the criteria sheet, the description of the projects, there's a couple tables, and I'm going to take those and convert them into something for a spreadsheet so we can do some calculations and some graphs. So I'm going to make a um, spreadsheet that's a little bit different. I'll list off the items, the cost of the items, and uh, the total for them. So, and a number of, not a number of items. So in a spreadsheet, I'm in Excel. This would work in an open office spreadsheet or any kind of spreadsheet program, so they're similar. One thing you need to know is some vocabulary. The vertical space are called columns. They're the letters A, B, C, D, and so on. Horizontal space are rows, and an individual cell is one box, and this would be reference to cell B3. This one over here would be D15, would be the cell reference. Handy to know. So I'm going to create uh, name of item in A1, in B I'm going to say cost of item, in C1 I'll say number, and in D, I'll say total. These are kind of small, so what you can do is select all the columns and say, hey, make all the text bigger. But when you do that, it doesn't fit in the cells anymore, so you can drag the cells wider, or if you double click, what they'll do is they'll expand to the size of the largest text in there. And you can make them bigger if you need to. And you can make them bold and change their colors and things. Too small. Okay, so for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call these item 1, item 2, item 3. Okay, so back to here. Um, so we do four items and a cost of an item. So let's just say this is, we're obviously not going to go for a million dollars. Um, now, the number of items that we have... we can fill in there as well. Now, a beginner way to work with spreadsheets is you could take cost of the item and the number of, and do a multiplication on it and just type in the actual numbers here. But the beauty about spreadsheets is that it will do the work for you and if you make the changes, um, it will change for you. So right now I've just typed them all in but if I were to change this over here, it doesn't change my totals. So instead, this is where we get a little bit more advanced than just typing them in. So we're going to use an equation. So an equation is fairly simple. They start with an equal sign. And I could type in 10 times 1 and hit enter, and I get 10. But if I change this over here to 12, it doesn't change that. So this is where we're going to use our knowledge of cell references to change this. So instead of equals 10 times 1, I'm going to say equals, and I could type in B2. And you see how it highlights cell B2? And I'm going to say times C2, and it highlights C2 a different color, and then hit enter. And I still get 12, but I could change this over here to 14, and it updates. So that's the beauty about spreadsheets, is it does a lot of the work for you. So I'll do this one again, equals, now I can click instead of type, so B3 times C3, hit enter, equals B2, or sorry, B4 times, I'm hitting the star, so on the keyboard that's shift 8, uh, times C4, and hit enter. And another neat thing with most spreadsheet programs is you can see a little handle down here in the bottom right hand corner. And if you move your mouse over carefully, you can hit the plus sign, click, drag down, and it will copy the formula down with the relative referencing of the cells. So it knew that it wasn't B4 times C4 anymore. It said, oh, you've moved me down a cell. I'm going to change my uh, cell references, so B5 times C5. So that's a great thing. Now I can decide to change this around, and I could see how much this is going to be. Now... I could, again, add these up and say 28 plus 150 plus 140 plus uh, 240 plus 600 equals whatever it is. Or I can use a formula. There's a couple ways to do this. So here's another formula. 
or if you want you can put in a, a label and say equals this plus this plus this plus this and hit enter and there's my total another way to do that is you can use a sum I'm going to just do it below here and I'm going to say equals sum and then you're going to use a bracket and the sum starts at D2 and goes to D5 or you can click and drag down you can either type that in D2 colon D5 or you can click and drag close the bracket hit enter and you get the same thing now so if I make any changes over here and you can see how it switches over to scientific notation because the uh, cells are a little bit too small so you can make them a little bit bigger and realize oh I'm at 1.269 million I need to make some changes So if you wanted to get close to a million, there's a guess and check way to work and figure out how you can get there. Now, when you've done all this work, you make sure you save it as well. So I've, I'd already saved this to my H drive as a million dollars. Make sure you do save uh, your work so that if the computer shut off or something like that, you haven't lost your work. So save to your H drive. The other neat thing about spreadsheets is you have a bunch of different sheets sort of layered on top of each other, like they're pieces of paper. So this is sheet one. If I click on sheet two, I've actually already set this one up for the other part of this was the flight, your cost for one person and cost per your family. So this would be very similar as you put in your flight cost and you can do an equation here of equals this times the number of family members. Um, and then you could figure out your totals by doing the sums. So there's a quick way of looking at how to use a spreadsheet to expand the million dollar activity. The next step we want to do is figure out our uh, graphs and we'll do that in a different video.